Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. Not gonna lie, it's no longer morning here because we've been waiting all morning for the sloth stuff to arrive for this room, right? As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, it was supposed to be here yesterday, and then it was supposed to be here this morning at 10 o'clock. Now they're saying it's not gonna be here till later this afternoon. I tell you what, guys, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm starting to stress out pretty good. We have only a couple days before we leave to go get Drogo, and I still have an empty room that needs walls, a tree, a ceiling. I mean, we have so much work to do, but the fact is, is that there's nothing I can do about it now, so I'm gonna just go ahead and try to get my mind off it, but one of the things you guys might be wondering is that, how does something like that come to, you know? I've got a room over here that just looks blank. Like, how does it go from a blank room to actually a sloth exhibit? And how have I done that throughout the whole Reptarium? Let's take, for instance, Ivy's cage. You know, and this goes for every enclosure in this entire zoo is that it all started with like an idea in my head. I knew I wanted an octagon, all glass front cage, but I also knew that I wanted a big water feature because obviously Ivy and even Aries loves to be in the water. Now, I know that I also wanted a waterfall because I love waterfalls. You can see waterfalls all along the Reptarium, right? Well, Aquascape actually has a really good bio fall. So I knew it was a really good kind of filter as well to keep the water nice and crystal clear, even if we have to take the debris out. You know, it's always clear because of the filtration is really good. So what I had to do is say, all right, I want water, I want glass front, but I also want land that kind of looks jungly and I want an Aquascape filter in it. So we had to go to the drawing board and literally I start with a loose leaf paper and start to just draw things out. Okay, this is how much front of water I want. This is how much the back I want. This is the waterfall. And then we have to start engineering. Can we somehow put a big aquascape biofall into a cage? I've never seen anyone do it before. So it was kind of starting from scratch. How do we actually achieve this goal? And then once you start drawing it out, figuring it out, then we get with guys like Stewart and Universal Rocks and we start seeing, can we actually do it? Then we actually have to build the frame out. After the frame is, then we skin it, we put it together, we foam it, we do everything, test it out, all that type of stuff. So every enclosure in the entire place, including Diddy and Dixie's over here, I mean, every single enclosure really starts with an idea. And then that idea gets into a piece of paper, typically just a loose leaf paper because you know I'm no engineer. And then I start really engineering it out with people that know more than I do and say, can we actually do it? Order the parts and put it together. And that's exactly what we did with the sloth room too. We knew we had a base of a 12 foot by 12 foot room and we thought, how do we make this into a sloth exhibit? What do we need? We need rock walls, we need vines, we need climbing areas, we need a tree, we need a ceiling in it that it can climb on with a grating. So we start just putting the pieces together and I'm not gonna lie, yesterday we were supposed to start putting walls up and trees up, but to be honest with you, we wanted to put the ceiling up, but that isn't gonna happen because we're gonna run out of time. So we're gonna have to put the walls and the tree up now and then do the ceiling hopefully tomorrow or the next day before we leave to go get Drogo. So I tell you, time's ticking. Anxiety is up, I'm not gonna lie to you. You guys know I have issues with that. It's definitely been a little bit tough the last day and a half or so, because it's definitely building up for me, but we've got no choice but to wait here in a couple hours. We're gonna get the shipment in, and then hopefully we're gonna put this room together, and hopefully by the end of the day, at least it'll start looking like a sloth exhibit. Originally, we have a lift gate here, so we were hoping that we'd be able to just get it onto the ground and roll it in, but uh, it's too big, so we're gonna have to just uh, open it up and take it in. I mean, you know, that's what we did with the rest of the Reptarium, so why not do it with this one?
it's time guys. It turned out that it worked out better than I thought. We've got our first rock panel in here. Basically what we have to do is just kind of start skimming the walls here and get the rock look right. So we're gonna join it to this wall here all the way around. What we'll do is we'll leave a little bit up at the top because if we can actually put the ceiling in and then actually go back and patch it up, it's gonna be way better than trying to put the ceiling in with it right up to the top. So uh, again, you guys have seen this happen before. This room is gonna look a lot different in just a short while. Just like that, we got half the room done. Again, I'm leaving this spot up on the top here, basically so that I can put the grating up here, right, the ceiling, so that Drogo can't get through the, the ceiling. And that's where like the lights will go, the humidifier, all that type of stuff. So we'll uh, we'll do that right about to the top over here. We'll uh, we'll have that that up, and hopefully that'll happen tomorrow or the next day by the latest, because that's then we're out of time. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this room out right here. And this part is done, then we can bring the tree in, start putting the tree together, and uh, place that at least look like a sloth. I can't wait to show Lori. Uh, I can't uh, can't imagine what her response is gonna be. I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it, bro. The walls are rocked out now, so you start to see what it's gonna look like as far as the actual enclosures go. Now the tree needs to go in the middle. We have tons of vines. We have ropes we're gonna be hanging. Of course, we have to get the ceiling up before I can really do that, but uh, all in all, it's pretty good. We might have to secure things just a little bit more just so that when he's gripping onto it, it isn't through. So I've gotta go through and just kinda of secure everything. But the next thing that we're gonna do is put this tree in here. Uh, I'm hoping it's gonna fit through this door, number one, and then number two, trying to figure out where all these branches go. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, so. Oh, wish us luck, let's do this. Major, major dilemma. I mean, we have, we barely fit this tree through that door straight on. We have to somehow get this tree all the way over here, all the way over here, and bend in to get through here into the store. I think it's, I don't know if it's even possible. The only hope that I hope is that if we can somehow get this tree through here, somehow, and stand it straight up like this, so it's straight in this aisle, and then we actually bend the bottom and hopefully can kind of squeeze it through this door. I'll be honest with you guys, I mean, I think there's, there's a very good chance that this tree isn't gonna make it into this room today. I mean, and if it doesn't, what are we gonna do? I don't know. So, uh, kind of bummed that Stuart didn't take that into account. He knew it was going in this room, and uh, now we have to deal with his kind of uh, not giving us enough space to do it. So, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare, guys. So let's, uh, let's hope for the best. All right, so the deal is we've got the tree here. Obviously, it doesn't fit through the door that way. It doesn't fit through the door this way. We can't bend it, so the idea is that we're gonna try to swoop this end out here, scrape it over here, and hopefully be able to maneuver this top in. Uh, I, I think that there's, I mean, I don't know. I don't even want to say. What do you think, Lori? Do you have, I mean, is this going to work? Do you think? Obviously, it's going to work. Does the base fit through the door? The base fits through the door. Okay. Then we're good. Well, yeah, but this is 18 inches bigger than the base. It doesn't matter. We have so much room. We're good. Okay. We pull it in. We got I it. I see we cut it in half and show some rebar down the middle. It'll be fine. That might be what has to happen. <laughs> all right, so let's I get. All right. I don't know. 
All right, let's just do it. I say, let's say 80%? 80, oh, 85 to 95. 85 to 95, okay. I think yeah. we're good. We got Without taking some parts with it. Guys, way to go! You guys did great. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Honestly, we couldn't have, we could have done it without Noah. Without Noah's faith. Yeah, yeah, Noah's help, dude. Yeah, yeah, so good. Good. Okay, so uh, there's our tree. We got it. In. All right. Ta -da. Ta -da. Now what? All right, now what? I don't know. We have to figure out how to put this thing together, huh? Yeah, we got the branch broke up top, but that's all right. We're gonna get it together. I don't think it's broke. I think it just can be rearranged. Okay. Yeah. Fortunately, the tree fit. The downside was that Stuart did an amazing job not only building the tree, but also all this foliage. The downside is, is that Drogo is gonna think this foliage is food and we have to pull out all the leaves, which sucks because these leaves are so amazing and they make the tree look so cool, but we got no choice but to yank them out, so that really sucks. But I think the tree's gonna look awesome even without the leaves. I think it's gonna look really amazing. So uh, I can't believe it fit in here. I mean, I am blown away. But uh, <laughs> this room is like, it's like a rainforest. It's crazy, I love it. So uh, I think Drogo's gonna love this place. It's really coming together. Thousand years later. All right, guys, so uh, leaves are off now. I actually think it looks even cooler without the leaves, to be honest with you. The leaves were awesome, don't get me wrong, but it did block a lot of light, number one. Number two, obviously, if, if Drogo was up in the tree over here, you might not even see him with all those leaves. And, and lastly, he probably would try to eat them. I've never seen a sloth exhibit with uh, artificial leaves because they probably eat all that stuff. That's something they eat in the wild. So uh, sorry, Stuart, uh, you did a great job with the leaves, but we had to take it off. But I actually think the tree looks even better without it. So this is the basic general idea of what the room is gonna look like. We still have a bunch more to do. We've got vines. Obviously we have the ceiling that needs to go in. We've got ropes. We've got a little ladder that he's gonna have. He's gonna have a little sleeping bed over here because he likes to sleep in a bed. This, I mean, there's still a lot to go, but you get the general idea of what the exhibit looks like. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. Can you imagine if he's like hanging right here? You can see through the window. Uh, you can come in here. Oh, this is gonna, I can't wait guys. At the beginning of the day, I was stressing pretty bad about this. It's so nice to see it come together so quickly. It was a lot of work. And uh, I tell you what, that tree, I didn't think it was coming in here. I really thought we were in big, big trouble, but it is in. We just have to kind of secure everything, seam everything up and move on to the next. So there it is, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, man. Is this gonna be awesome or what? A couple more days and we leave to go get Drogo. Ooh, doggy, I tell you what, that was pretty incredible. Now the sloth room is finally coming together. We've got to get the ceiling in, vines in, all the toys for it. We've got two days to do that before we take off. So we're going to get it going. I tell you what, let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. If you enjoy this uh, and you like building stuff, here's a playlist right over here that's us building everything that we build around here. You can also subscribe to my podcast channel right over here. I hope you're subscribed to this vlog channel over here. If not, do that subscription. Turn on post notifications all, please. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.